In this video, we're gonna break down how you can access your API key in SmartSuite so that you can connect to external tools like Zapier. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Let's hop on into SmartSuite and take a look at how we access that API key. Now we do have to have the right level of permissions inside of SmartSuite or we won't even see this option. But what we do is come up to our account in the upper right corner and click on our profile image. If we then scroll down on that menu, you'll see that API key is underneath change password and above active sessions. So this is where you're gonna find that API key, make that selection and your API key pops in right here. Now quick tutorial or quick help information here. SmartSuite uses token-based authentication for its REST API. Note that your API is unique to your user workspace and requests made with it have your privileges. So if you don't have the right number of privileges or the right level of permissions inside of SmartSuite, your API token is not going to be able to do things that you can't already do yourself. The API token value should be included in the HTTP authorization token header of every request. So if you're establishing a connection to something like Zapier, you don't have to worry about that. You just build the connection after you present your API token. But if you are calling manually, you're gonna to need to make sure that you notate that. Now, in order to access our token, we can just click in here and that's gonna show us our token. Remember, your token is very private to you. You don't wanna share it with others. And if ever you think that it's been compromised, you will want to destroy that token. So be sure to go through the steps to destroy the token as follows. Just go ahead and click on destroy and it will ask you, are you sure? But please bear in mind that any existing API integrations will stop working once that token is destroyed. So I don't actually wanna do that. Only do that if you know that your token's been compromised. And if you need to access your token, you can just highlight it with a quick double click and copy it and paste it anywhere you need. Again, be sure to keep your token secret. Don't share it with just anybody because it basically is your level of permissions inside a smart suite and anything that's done through your API token will look like you actually took that action yourself. So make sure that you don't go sharing that with anybody else. I know we went fast in this video. If you have any questions or need to, please rewatch and I will see you in the next one. If you have any questions about what we covered in this training, please ask them below in the comment section of this video. And until then, we'll see you in the next training.